Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're playing that new Warwick skin. Got the white chroma because it looks pretty sick. So we're going Warwick jungle. We're up against Lee Sin. We're going a pretty different and honestly good build this game. We're going Tiamat into Umbral Glaive into Hydra into Divine Sunderer. So that is going to be the play. I'll explain why we're doing that uh, while we're doing the clear. So runes, we got Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, and then Ingenious Hunter. Zombie Ward, Attack Speed Damage, and Armor. You could go PTA, that will add to this one-shot combo, but they have uh, Shan and Cassante, so we want to be able to deal like the consistent DPS. That's the whole reasoning behind that. PTA wouldn't kill Cassante and Shan in the combo. All right, so team at first item because we're Warwick jungle, we need the wave clear, but then we're gonna be sitting on team at by an Umbral Glaive. The reason why we're getting that Umbral Glaive is because we're gonna be pretty much always having vision, like denying vision, because we have Ingenious Hunter. And then we're going Sheen, or like Divine Sunder, Spellblade, because the Ingenious Hunter is gonna make us get a double proc on our combo. So, double Spellblade proc, which is pretty strong. So the only difference of 12.23 in the jungle that you gotta deal with with Warwick is you gotta attack the baby ones one more time uh, to do like the whole clear it only slows his clear speed down by about three ish seconds four ish seconds if you get a decent enough leash then you still have enough time to go to scuttle after your golems it doesn't even add four seconds it's like an extra two the skin's pretty cool okay. and we pretty easily beat uh lee sin level three well actually we'll be level four we pretty easily beat him the pathing is bad right now i pathed pretty badly after the golems okay so, oh, I put another point to my E. Honestly, it's not too too big of a deal. We're gonna go, is he gonna smite it? No, he doesn't have smite. So he's dead, right, to ignite and red buff? Damn, unlucky. Uh, Let's go over here. Nah, okay, let's get double scuttle. Yeah, putting another point to E isn't really too big of a deal. We're gonna go W and then uh, E max this game, I'm thinking anyway. Want me to shove it? Nah, you don't want me to shove it, right? Nah, okay. Most likely, we'll, we'll see. E max, I, I've been liking recently. You're just so much tankier and it's up so much more often. It's an extra four seconds less, like the cooldown reduction. Uh, we can go over here. I don't think we'll get a kill. Nah, it's warded. This Vex is a uh, legend. Okay, nice. Uh, we can like, look to get drag right now then, fast. It's up in tw 10, we can do it, easy. Just come over here please, Jinx. Would be good, but it's okay. If we just got Vex here, it's fine. It's just it's a mountain drag, so it takes a while to die. Yeah, no, if she dies, it's all her own self. Her own fault if she dies. She ought a minion. She ought a minion or else she would have lived. Ah, greedy, greedy, greedy. So he's backing, so this is a free drag. over here so we're sitting on tiamat and boots but well, we're gonna do this side because we might have enough for tiamat boots and uh, serrated dirk i don't think we will i'm not gonna do the math really quickly but i don't think we'll have enough that'll be a really strong buy if we do though so yeah genius hunter lowers the cooldown of our umbral glaive which is really good because like i said we're gonna have vision like all the time but more importantly after we go umbral glaive we don't need to sit on red trinket anymore we can get yellow trinket which is going to be super good because then we'll have vision all over the map. We deny vision a lot with Umbral, and then we're able to get more vision because of our trinket. Yeah, no, we don't have enough. Okay, so boots, team out. Boom, boom, double longs at least. So that's, I mean, hey, that's still a really good buy. So we are, it's, and that's nothing, it's su such a cheap item, super, super cheap item. Ooh, nice, very good. This Lee Sin is very behind in comparison to me. He only has 30 stacks on his pet. I'm at 23. Sante's still there? I wasn't paying attention. We can go mid here. We can go mid really quickly because he shouldn't have flash. Yeah, no, he doesn't have flash. Okay. Nice. I don't want to ult him because there's no point. He lives, right? Yeah, I was going to say. He lives because he has pat ult to everything, so. Because I don't want to ult that because I want to save my ult for this top or something. This guy's name is Best Cassante NA. Dead. I'll grab all this XP though. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, dude. Thank you very much. So we have enough for Dirk now. Oh yeah, dude. This skin's so cool. I love how he doesn't have an eye. Reminds me of Rengar. Reminds me of Rengar a lot. 
Like I like how the the prestige skin and this skin are basically like two in one. Like before you like other skins, you would basically never want to go the regular skin if you had the prestige skin. But I like that they're very different. Like you can go the, you can go them for two different reasons. Okay, this this is gonna be a super strong trio of items, as you guys are gonna see. Yeah, we don't want to buy level two boots yet. We just want to straight up rush Umbral. So the 40 second cooldown, it ends up going down to like 28, 26 or something. Once we get five stacks on this, so it ends it ends up being really strong. But, but as I was saying though, it's not just the fact that we lower the cooldown of Umbral. We're also able to go yellow trinket. And then that cooldown is also lowered because we have ingenious. It's pretty good because uh, vision is extremely huge and not, not enough people deny vision or get vision in games. So this will help out. Being a jungler and you still help out a ton on vision is a really big deal. So we have drag in a minute. We can look to do a gank on mid and then look to alt bot. Ideally, but we'll see if the scuttle's up. Oh, Zillion's fine. We're gonna smite Q this really quickly. Is he gonna go down here? Where's he going this Lee Sin? Over here? Come on, get him a little bit lower. I'm gonna go on this guy because then he's dead. Because he's got Zillion Bomb on him. Oh! That's extremely awkward, dude. That's extremely awkward, dude. The Shen ult. <laughs> and he's dashing so fast. So my ult missed. I don't even know why I tried to ult the Yasuo without, without him being feared. We got, we got Glaive now, so that's huge. Damn, dude, Cassante is just a unit. Um, Yeah, we'll start building level 2 boots now. So now we can go Yellow Trinket. So Yellow Trinket ends up... What's the cooldown? It says 194, so that's pretty sure that's true, right? It's not 194 plus the cooldown reduction here. We'll see. Actually, no, it might be because this is this says 40 seconds, but it's not. So this is probably... Le yeah, it's much less than 193. Let's just do Drag. We have Smite. No alt, no flash. But we should be alright. Let's see. So Q is 230. So let's just smite out of like 1100. Boom. See, 28 second. Where you going, bro? He dead. Good try on him, on his part. It was a valley and Tefut. Okay, we just get this. Can't see my autos. Man, Zillion it used to be such a annoying mid laner. I mean, he still is, but whenever his Q is point click, oh my god. Okay, let's go mid. Ah, oh, he's dead. That's a hilarious, dude. Zillion ult is just such a troll thing. Such a troll. It's a low cooldown, too. Somewhat. I mean, yeah, it is because he has that. Okay, we got. A lot, extra, a lot of extra tankiness from AD champs, I think. Okay. That's an interesting interaction. So we deal a considerable amount. Not much with like our Q and our ult just yet. But, uh, because like, we don't have any like magic pen and stuff like this. Oh yeah, and zombie ward, as I said. So zombie ward gives us a ton of vision. The wards last for two minutes, right? Two minutes, which is huge. So that's two minutes of us having just vision from us denying vision. What you were trying to do there to be honest Ben. I really don't know what he was trying to do there okay I wasn't too sure if his W was gonna be up or not I, I didn't see if he used it earlier that's why I tried to use the fear but then I'm like ah well that's awkward because in hindsight I guess I would have used my E to like potentially tank tower shots and stuff so mm -hmm. only issue with this uh oh, wait, wait wait I just saw a ward somewhere okay yeah yeah, yeah. only issue with um this build is that you're a little squishy, which is fine. I mean, it's fine to go squishy Warwick build, but just know that if you're used to playing tank, you're like, oh yeah, then you all, all of a sudden you play this, you're a lot squishier. Okay. But the extra vision is a big deal, man. Look, our Umbral, Umbral Glaive is back up, which is huge. We always have, like, we always have wards, we always have vision. Did I have 14 wards score? That's pretty good. We're gonna drop a ward in here. And then we'll just walk around and deny some vision. Thank you, Mr. Zillion. You can get this if you want. Oh, 
Okay. And yeah, I love that I can just run around knowing that nobody sees me because it hasn't proc. Like, I know that this is warded. See? We're gonna save Smite. Oh wow, he hasn't killed this yet. That thing's level one. Uh, well, whatever. Draw Umbu Glaive is back up. We're just gonna grab the Scuttle fast. We have enough for Hydra after this. And then our red side. Oh, oops, there we go. Close to Hydra. We have drag up in 40 seconds. Mm, I mean, this is greedy, but we're gonna do a red side clear and then back. We're not gonna just do red and then back. We're gonna do a whole red side clear. I doubt we'd like to go to this. We're dominating them right now, man. Ooh, Vex might be dead. No, I missed that Q, so he lives. Zillion is just popping. <laughs> Okay, let's go. We're not gonna wait for any items. We're just gonna go straight away. We could have waited a little bit for Longsword, but nah, it drags up. I know their jungler's dead, but still. He just hard loses it. The Zillion is just an animal. So let's see if any of this is warded. No, nothing's warded, man. Like, see? Like, they cannot see us right now. Like, they, when you're spotted by a ward, reveal trap. So like right now, this entire map is black for them. Like, this is fog of war for them. They have no idea we're here. Very good. Uh, I mean, I don't really want you to take the blue buff, my friend. Ah, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so let's do wolves and then we'll pick up Sheen. And then we're gonna have a lot more damage because Sheen is going to apply twice in our combo. Okay, watch. Oh, so here we go. Now we'll buy pink. Get some extra vision. Our vision score is gross. And yeah, he wasn't able to get the alt off. And then red pet, uh, yeah, red pet really adds to our burst. Is that warded? No, is this warded? Yep, kill that ghost one. Look at that, dude. I just have so much vision. Because zombie wards don't count towards your actual wards. Like, you can have as many zombie wards on the map. You can have as many zombie wards on the map as you want. And now that I'm running down bot here... Oh, wait. It's the one one that we win. Easy peasy. We wanted to delay our queue a little bit. That's why I did the sidestep. I knew he was gonna try. We we're just dominating. Go over here. Yeah, dude, like, like, we just have way too much presence on the map with this because we are just providing so much vision for the entire map. Oh, wow, he's dead. Hit a ward while I'm at it. There you go, gave you the assist, my zillion friend. Yeah, there's no way you run from that, dude. You can't get away from that in time. You're one HP on versus a Warwick. He's gonna get to you so quick. Uh, they might lose that. No, Jinx is there now. Yeah, I'm heading over there though. They were in a bad spot originally. I went to go kill Draven. So I wasn't there to begin with, but I mean, it was still f like whatever. So who are we missing? Shen. I mean, it doesn't matter now. We don't need to worry about fully stacking this four is good enough, but extra little bit's always good. Okay. All right, so this and this Pretty goodbye Boom boom. Okay, nice. And then after divine thunder, we're gonna go probably Probably a Borg I'm heading over there. If he gets below 50, that'll be big Nice okay, that that's gonna bring him below 50. Nope, it won't Double fear is just too much. The double fear is just too much. I held my Q. I hope everyone knows. The amount of times I hold my Q and it doesn't register is nuts. I hold my Q and it doesn't register is nuts. That's probably an FF. Did they just all in earlier there? It's probably an FF. Yeah, they have here. All right. <laughs> well, hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a really good showcase of that build and the power of it in the mid game. 
So if you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. Other than that, thank you for watching. Peace out.